第二のキラ容疑ということでは世間の混乱が予想されるのでマネージャーの麻薬所持容疑への任意同行にしていますがだがこんな俺にも吐き気のする悪は分かる悪とは Persona 5 Joker is finally into Smash Bros. in a long way, and we have a new patch known as Patch 3.0. It's brought a lot of cool new content like Stage Builder, which is a big upgrade from the one on Wii U, some DLC spirits, and an online content share mode, and a lot of other cool stuff. But before I get started, there's three universal changes that I need to cover. Number one being that dodging in general has been nerfed, and now whenever you dodge, it does stale out a lot quicker. Number two is that whenever you parry a projectile, you're able to act out of it quicker. And number three is whenever you parry a multi hit projectile or hit, it will not multi parry for you anymore. But knowing that, let's get started into the video with number one Mario, whose final smash slows down time a lot easier, but he did get a nerf on his fireball, just like his brother, and both of them do less shield pressure. Peach and Daisy also do less shield pressure with their turnips, and they also can no longer stall with neutral B in the air. But On the bright side, her final smash does put people to sleep for a lot longer. Bowser's up special is a lot harder to get out of, regardless of what direction you're holding and regardless of the percentages. Dr. Mario got the same changes as Mario. Now, Rosalina and Luma is a cool character that I wanted to talk about in this update. Her neutral B did get nerfed a bit, with the shield pressure being turned down as well as the side B. But one of the most important things I think about her is it, not her final smash, but her final smash does slow out time a lot more. But what I was gonna say was now, whenever you hold down to do a down tilt, Luma will automatically run in front of you, which does help, as well as side tilt. Wario can now eat projectiles a lot easier, which makes it easier for him to bait them out. p i r a n a Plant has a bit more range on his neutral B, and also his get up attack does have more range. Four of the Fire Emblem characters did get this dash grab buff, number one being Marth, number two being Lucina, number three being Krom. Roy did get a buff on his up B, so all of the hits do connect a lot easier now, regardless of the percentages. And he's also the fourth one to get the dash grab. Robin got hit pretty hard by this update, and his neutral special does do a lot less shield pressure. And his side special also does do a lot less shield pressure. Orange neutral special did get a big buff on stun time. His up smash has a bigger range. His side smash can connect the hits a lot easier, which also makes it possible for stuff like this where you can trap an opponent in the corner. And especially when they have their shield up, it doesn't lead to a shield break, but it does get their shield very low. Up B now confirms not every single time, but for the majority of the time. Side B does come out a lot quicker. Finally, on lightweights like Pikachu, down air does connect all hits now. And speaking of Pokemon, let's move on to the Pokemon section of the video and start it off with Pikachu, who actually got a nerf on his neutral special. It does less damage against shield, both on ground and in the air. Second up is Jiggly, who now, whenever she uses her final smash, has like a final second hit at the end that can knock back opponents and it makes it really easy to get kills. Pichu has a new landing animation and a new aerial animation, which makes him more killable. He also has the same nerf as Pikachu, with his neutral special doing less against Shield. Mewtwo is definitely the biggest character highlight of this update. With 9 buffs and a weight change to make him heavier, he's definitely going to be moving around on the tier list. His first buff being that he actually has an extended time on his invincibility on his getup roll. His neutral special does more knockback but keeps the same damage, but that does mean that it's more of a reliable kill option. It does do less against Shields though, but it can still break them. His side tilt kept the same knockback from the last update, but it does have more damage. Same thing goes for his up air. And the same thing goes for his up tilt too, except the tip of the tail has a different launch angle. His ledge attack has more range. 
and his side smash is bigger than ever and you can actually see right here that as I inch myself that this is the farthest that you can hit it from which is pretty far. The initial hit of his jab got buffed so it's a little bit faster and on top of this a little bit of weight was added to make him a bit heavier. Ivysaur's side B does less damage on shield. Charizard's Flare Blitz has a more consistent hitbox on the bottom of it when he's grounded. This also makes it easier to break shields. Lucario's Aura Sphere got nerfed a little bit and does less damage against shields, but I don't think it matters too much, especially if an enemy's in the corner and you have enough aura because you're able to automatically get that shield break and punish. And even if an opponent is mid-stage, you can do aura cancels to keep chipping away at their shield. Greninja also does less shield damage with his neutral special. But being that the move is a multi-hit anyways, I don't think you have to worry about it too much because it does scoop opponents from the bottom of the shield. And now that we finish all the Pokemon, let's move on to other series, starting with Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong's Neutral B is a bit better now because it has a bit more range so it can actually hit from farther. And Diddy Kong got a quite a few buffs. His Down Smash actually kills pretty early now. Not early for him at least, just because he has the problems with killing. His up air does one more percent, so it helps with racking up damage, but the knockback is still inconsistent. His Nair has a way bigger hitbox, making an actual viable move for when people are on ground. And actually his dash attack comes out a lot quicker now. His side tilt has a lingering hitbox, and now his pop gun can actually go further, and the actual pop gun explosion does a lot more. King K. Rule got a buff on his forward air, and now the sweet spot is a lot bigger. And the same thing for his side tilt. Also, his up throw isn't affected by wind anymore, but on the bad side, his side B doesn't do as much pressure on shield. But a good thing is, is that his counter, whether if it's successful or not, he's able to act out of it a lot quicker, meaning that it's a lot safer for him to use it in a lot of situations. And his last buff is that his up B has a lot less ending lag, so you can actually act out of it now. Alright, so now let's start shifting gears towards Legend of Zelda characters. And first one is Link, and his boomerang actually does a lot less on shield. But Sheik does way better with forward air. Her forward air has a bigger hitbox, her down tilt has a bigger hitbox for the, the tipper part. Which makes it easier for combos like this. So I think Sheik is not going to move up a whole letter, but you know significantly better her needles take less time to charge up and her jabs you can actually move out of it quicker zelda has a lot less shield pressure because her down b doesn't break it as easily link's arrows do a lot less against shield young link's boomerang also has a lot less power against shield two links boomerang also has less power against shields and Ganondorf got nerfed because now it's easier to combo him in air Pit and Darpit both got the same nerf with their arrows doing less against shield, but out of the three people from Kid Icarus, Palutena's shield damage is by far the worst. It's horrible, her side B barely does anything, her neutral B barely does anything. Kirby got a bit of a buff with his down throw doing more damage, his neutral special having more range, and he can also survive a lot longer inside of his costumes. His up smash has a bigger hitbox, his up B snaps ledge quicker, and his Nair also has reduced landing lag, but more vulnerability. DDD's side beat Gordos don't do as much damage to shield. Samus and Dark Samus both do a lot less shield damage with their neutral bees, but don't get me wrong, the neutral bees still are pretty viable for shield breaks if they're fully charged. Ridley also does a lot less shield damage. He still can get a good amount, but not as good as before. And his final smash allows him to move out of it quicker than the opponent that he hits it with, which means that he can combo right out of it. We only have two Animal Crossing characters to cover. Villager's side B doesn't do as much damage on shield, as well as his forward and back air, and basically, Isabelle is the exact same thing, just without the side B. Me Sword Fighter's getup attack has a bigger hitbox. His shurikens do a lot less on shield. His side special this does a lot less on shield. I think it's called the Chakram. And his Gale Storm does less on shield too. Me Gunner's Charge Shot does less on shield, just like Samus. Me Gunner's Side Special Missile also does less on shield. Me Gunner's Bomb also does less on shield. This is one of the neutrals. And finally, Me Gunner's Side Special does less on shield. It's the one that's just like PK Fire. I also grouped in Wii Fit Trainer with these guys just because they're all from Wii, but she got a buff on her jab, it can bury now from farther, her breathing lasts for 5 whole more seconds, her charge shot does less on shield, 
Finally, her boa has a different spawn rate for whenever it's touching the floor. The next major portion of the video is going to be all retro characters, basically people from NES, SNES, and just all retro kinds of titles. Now I think this isn't groundbreaking, but it is one of those bigger nerfs on Ness. His up smash actually has less hit detection and less of a charge up time, meaning it does less damage too. And his down smash is actually the exact same way, so it's going to be a lot easier to slip past it when you're trying to recover. A good thing is though is that his neutral B has a way bigger hitbox, making it a lot easier to land. Ice Climber's got a small buff on their final smash, it just does a bit more knockback now, nothing too special. And the same thing goes for Game & Watch except he can now carry people for much longer. Mega Man's Lemons got nerfed a lot, his neutral attack, his neutral air, and his side tilt all got nerfed against shield. His neutral special also got nerfed against shield. His leaf comes out a lot slower and it also can't pick up items while you throw it, but at the very least he got more extended time on his get up roll, and he also has more knockback on his up smash. Pac-Man's down B got buffed a bit because it has a bigger hitbox while it's falling, but now it got nerfed a little because it has less damage against shield, and all of his projectiles, neutral wise, got nerfed because they all do less damage against shield. Rob also got similar nerfs because now his downbeat does way less damage against shield, he's very similar to Mega Man, and his neutral special does almost nothing against shield. Both Simon and Richter both have less damage against shield with their side specials, but they also have longer hitboxes now for their getup attack. Sonic's final smash does have a bigger hitbox and it also knocks people back further, so nothing too special for him either. Both Ryu and Ken have less hit stun when they get off a ledge with a getup attack. As much as Bayonetta already suffered, she also got a nerf with her guns, they do much less shield pressure and damage. Cloud's Limit Neutral B does less damage to shield. Shulk has bigger ledge attack range and getup attack range. And Inkling's Roller does more knockback the second time through. This last category is for kind of like a miscellaneous slash smash veteran category and it starts out with Olimar who does less shield damage. And also his smash attacks have been reworked so that then they actually pump out damage according to how long you charge it. Snake's back air has a bigger sweet spot. Snake's up smash doesn't give him as much invincibility as it did before. His Nikita was also nerfed so that then it has a lot less of a hitbox. And his grenades were also nerfed because they don't do as much pressure or damage. Finally, Wolf does less damage on shield with his neutral special, and the front hitbox of his down smash actually does a lot less knockback. You can see in this clip that the down smash kills with the front one doesn't at the exact same percentage. Well those are all the version 3.0 update patch notes, make sure to check out Stage Builder online, all the new stuff, Joker especially. If you like my channel, make sure to subscribe, especially if you're new here. But that being said, that's all I got for you guys today, I hope to see you guys in the next video, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out!